Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at more of my G.I. Joe collection. And these are a mixture of uh, figures and gear from uh, several different sources, including um, the 40th Anniversary line, and also Timeless Collection, and also Classic Collection, G.I. Joe's, which are all of the same scale. Uh, there are some differences between the various lines. And I'm not going to go over articulation in this particular video, uh, but I will put a link to my G.I. Joe articulation guide which talks about uh, the articulation on all of these figures. Uh, these are all basically either timeless or 40th anniversary figures. Uh, the one in here, this one's timeless. These other two are 40th anniversary figures, which pretty much uh, imitate the, um, the workings of the original 1964 G.I. Joe uh, body. So uh, starting over here, uh, this is my uh, 40th anniversary uh, crash crew. Um, so, uh, Incredible set. Uh, I was so happy when they decided to reproduce this because there's so many uh, interesting aspects of it. Not only the sort of uh, shiny suit, but also silver boots. Um, this utility belt has, you know, the uh, the axe back here. There's like uh, flashlight, pliers, um, and over here there's another tool. And of course, the, this really uh, beautiful looking um, Fire extinguisher comes with a figure too. So, and this this is obviously removable. You can see what the figure looks like underneath. So, um, very cool set. Uh, definitely one of my favorites from the 40th anniversary line of toys. I thought that was just uh, just fantastic that they decided to reproduce that set. And then here in the middle, um, this timeless collection, Joe is actually wearing a classic collection um, set that was made for the Tuskegee fighter pilot. And I thought it was really fantastic. All the um, sort of a, a texture on the on the fabric of the uniform and just the overall look of it 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 sort of uh, it captured what what I sort of reminisced about when I thought about uh, vintage action figures so I decided to go ahead and put that on one of my timeless collection GI Joes and I looks I think it looks fantastic that way and I gave him a, a 40th anniversary uh, boots so it would sort of look more like it should uh, if it were if it were ever done in a vintage line of toys. And then last but not least, we have my dress uniform uh, Air Force guy. And there is a vintage piece in here. Uh, basically, the shirt here is actually, I believe that's a um, one that was made for the Sea Adventurer. And I liked it because it had the sort of uh, more pointed collar on it. Um, so I think it looks uh, quite nice on this figure. Uh, I, just a little, just a tad nicer than, than the one that actually came with the set. And one thing uh, should be noted on this, um, these little insignia are just tacked on there with a, sort of like a sticky tape, and they do have a tendency to fall off. So if you get this set, just be careful of that. You may actually want to um, stitch it on there with a bit of thread just so it stays in place a little bit better because, again, they do have a tendency to fall off. And this set, of course, came with, with the dress shoes too, which um, weren't always included with that set. The way it's pictured on the box actually doesn't show it including the shoes. So uh, when when they decided to reproduce this set for the for the uh, anniversary edition, they actually included the shoes, which was quite nice. So quite a nice touch. Uh, that's pretty much all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my G.I. Joe collection, think about subscribing to the channel because I will be covering a lot more of these figures in the future. Until next time, I hope you're having a great day and thanks for watching.